Now, when the Mahama administration was in power, Yvonne Nelson and her group of um, you know, people in the arts industry, they were able to mobilize. And this was quite effective. I think that mobilization and that um, campaign was one of the critical factors that led to the loss of uh, power as far as the NDC government was concerned. Now, Occupy Ghana also undertook some, how did they mobilize? They went on social media. So what they did was that they have a tag and they keep on sharing and all of that. So to mobilize groups of people, social media becomes a platform because it's cheap. Anyone can actually go on there. You don't have to have any a huge level of education to be able to do that. So from that angle, yes, fix the country. It's a clear, the clearest manifestation of what we are talking about. If you look at it, I mean, Ernesto and his group of, um, you know, individuals who think that things have to change in the country began something. This has actually picked up and then it's all over the place. I think, that of course, they can go on radio and TV, but those will not be as effective as going on uh, social media because everyone is there. It's democratic. It's a grassroots approach to doing that. So I think it's about the most effective you can find because of the leverage and the opportunities that it offers to people from all walks of life.